All right, what's up guys? Uh, in this video, we're actually gonna be creek fishing. That's right, creek fishing is back. All right, it's been a while because obviously it's cold and the fish move out of the creek when it's cold. But uh, yeah, I was actually gonna do a minnow trapping video today, but I actually can't find my minnow trap, so we'll probably have to buy another one. But uh, yeah, we're gonna look for the minnow trap while we're down at the creek. Maybe I left it there, but uh, yeah. I'm gonna take my little ultralight right here behind me. Uh, I'm gonna take it down there and see if we can't catch a few fish out of the creek. So let's get down there, quit talking. Alright, we're actually at the creek now. The train just went by, so uh, let's get to fishing and see if we can't get us a few bluegill or maybe even a, a small bass or something like that. Let's go. What's it gonna be? Looks like a red breast. Red breast is on the board, guys. Of course it's a red breast, first fish I get. Here he is. Let me show him to y'all. Nice red breast right there, gonna get him back in the water. There we go. All right, that's fish number one. Let's see if we can catch some. Oh, oh my gosh, bro! I caught a massive creature. This thing's huge. These things are so slimy, bro. Mm, there we go. This thing is massive. Look at this. Look at how big this man is. That'd be perfect bass bait, but this is huge. There he goes. Jeez, that was a chunky one. All right, let me show y'all what I'm using real quick because I've, bruh, I've been killing them on this lake. A um, mule jig, but y'all can't see that. A mule jig. There's deer up there running around. A mule jig 1.2 with a 164,000 jig head in black. Now, I like using the 180th ounce jig head in white to match the uh, 1.2 mil minnow, but I just had this tied on, so we're gonna keep fishing. Well, I was looking for my minnow trap in this hole because this is the last place I remember uh, setting it. I think, I'm pretty sure I brought it back to the house, but I didn't find it. So I'm probably gonna have to buy another one, like I said. I'm gonna move down a little bit more in the creek and fish, but uh, I don't have too much lot long don't have too much more light uh and plus i've been listening to some sasquatch chronicles lately bro look he kind of scared but yeah i'm gonna walk down the creek keep fishing Oh, got him, got him, it's a bass. First creek bass of the year, baby. All right, don't come on, don't come on, don't come on. Yes, sir, first creek bass of the year. Toad, absolute monster, look at that. Mmm, monster, mmm. All right, let's get him back. Uh, I think it's a spotted bass, by the way. Let me check, hold on. It is a large mouth bass. And he's released, let's go. Dude, 
Are you joking me? Are you just, are you kidding me? This is where the 180th would come into clutch. So I'm gonna stop fishing for just, for just a second so that when I catch one, y'all can actually hear. All right, and just like that, we're back. The train's gone. It's actually a really long train. Flying. Looks like a good bluegill. Our first bluegill today, actually. Used to catching ones a lot bigger than this lately. But uh, yeah, nice little bluegill. That makes three species for today. No, four species, actually. That's actually wild. All right, unfortunately, we're gonna have to end on that bluegill. Because like I said earlier, it's about to start getting dark, well, dusky, and I'm not trying to risk it. So uh, yeah. That's gonna be the end of the video. I hope y'all actually enjoyed the video. Creek fishing is back, so I'll be doing more of this and obviously minnow trapping whenever I either find mine or buy another one. So yeah, just stay tuned. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video today. See you next time.